Well, we have played this scene before, and amid the bedlam of the visitors' locker room in Phoenix, we have virtually the entire roster of the three-time champions, and David Stern will attempt to make the presentation. Go ahead, Commissioner. Three-time NBA world champion, Chicago Bulls. Congratulations. It's a great accomplishment. Michael, Michael will allow you to speak first on behalf of your teammates. Well, I think everybody, everybody put their foot out there. You know, from Corey Williams to Ed Neal, all the guys that were going to end the reserve. You know, this is a hard fault three-peat. You know what I mean? It took a lot of work. A lot of times it looked down at them, but we stuck in there. We hung together as a team, and, you know, this is a reward of what the hard work does for you. Thank you, Gil. The crowd here kind of blocks us from seeing the monitor. We'll try, but until Pax is winning three-pointer, you had all the points for the Bulls in the fourth quarter. I knew Pax was going to make that. I just knew it whenever he got it. Uh, it was a great draw in. And, you know, for my part, I just try to do whatever I can. I hope you enjoy it, Bob. It feels good right now. Is it, is it joy or is it relief or is it a combination? This has been a great year but a tough year. It's both. You know, it's a relief. Plus, it's great to win. You know, I think we've gone through a lot. Me, personally, I've gone through a lot of ups and downs. But it, it, to cap it off this way means a lot to me. Believe me. I hate to make you look ahead, but you've talked about retirement in a year or two. Could you step aside if the streak is still intact? <laughs> no. You know, my love is strong for this game right now. That's how I'm looking at it. And I'm going to be here as long as my love is strong. We're going to roll in some of the plays from the fourth quarter. I don't know if we'll be able to see them. Try and make a little space here, guys for uh, Michael to take a look. And the one that I'd specifically like to talk about, and we'll get to it in a minute, would be your last basket. They're up by four when Frankie Johnson misses a jump shot, and they let you go the length of the floor, used up very little time, and they never touched you. I don't think anybody saw me. You know, I think once I got the rebound, everybody was running to the three-point shooters. You know, I just kept putting pressure on the defense. And right before I get to the basket for the layup, Scotty Pippen grabs Marley, but you can't get to, get, get to the basket and try to stop me. So that was a big play. Now, on the last play, you had to give it up in the backcourt. Never touched it in shooting range. Pippen gave it to Horace and then back to Pax. Well, the, the plan was it to get, get the ball to me, get it to Scotty, and cut off of Scotty. If I can get the ball back, get the ball back. But he turned it around, gave it to Horace, and then Horace kicked it back out to Paxson. And once I, I saw Paxson get the basketball, I knew it was good. I just, where, where is John Paxson? Where's Pax? Move him in here. A couple of years ago, you scored 10 points on clutch jumpers in Los Angeles and what turned out to be the winner. You had a big fourth quarter against Portland as well in the sixth game last year, and now the shot that wins the championship. Yeah, I'm just, this is a dream. What can I say? Uh, maybe we were the ones destined to win after all. It was, what a great feeling. I, I can't describe what I feel. Before, before we continue, Michael, I know you want to jump down. This has been in many ways your year with the Dream Team and with the certification in the minds of most now as the greatest to ever play the game. A final thought on what this means to you and your team. Well, I think it means, it means a lot to us I mean, because we make history. Not, very few teams have done this. You know, especially when, when so much parity in the league right now, this is a major accomplishment for the franchise and for the team. And, you know, for me personally, you know, I think it was something that I was looking forward to to separate myself from Magic and Bird. They never did it, and I did it. So that makes, that makes me, you know, feel special, I believe it. Congratulations. Thanks. All right, let's go back to Pax. When it left your hand, your thoughts. I mean, you had the stroke going, no doubt about it. I don't know. I mean, that's, just, that's instinct. You catch and you shoot. I've done it. Hundreds of thousands of times in my life. So uh, Horace gave me a good pass. We struggled that fourth quarter. I'm just glad I could do something about it. You were spotting up the whole play. That was obvious. You just went to that spot. Right. I was going to stay behind the three-point line in case something happened and the ball just fell in the horse's hands. I got it. Uh, unbelievable. I'm glad Chicago's got a third one. We're a city of champions. Congratulations, Thank John. You, Bob. I appreciate it. All right. We'll be back and we'll talk with oh, Phil Jackson. Oh, wait. Michael, Michael has an additional thought. Go ahead. This is for Jasmine, my sweet little daughter. Who you with? Happy birthday, Jazz. And happy Father's with? Day happy to Father's Michael Jordan. Everybody in there. All right. Trent Tucker's here, Daryl. Walker Horse Grant, Bill Cartwright, Scotty Pippen. We'll talk with the coach, Phil Jackson. We just heard Paul Westfall say, Phil, we lost to a great team. I think it was better for history's sake, now that you got it, that they proved to be such a stern test. Well, we never could get a hold of this basketball club. Up. You know, we've always been able to deepen somebody, put the claws on them, and hold them down. We couldn't hold this team down. They found ways to squiggle out, and they came back at you all the time. We had a nice lead. All of a sudden, their defense took over in the fourth quarter. We're so fortunate to come out of that game with an opportunity to win.
You know, he scored 12 points in the fourth quarter. That's the lowest fourth quarter in the final since the advent of the 24-second clock, and you got away with it. Isn't that amazing? We got away at one. We had five points with three-something left on the clock. I told the guys, we'll find a way to win. We'll get this thing over. If you'll play defense, we'll do it. And they did it. It's great. How tough was this year for you with Michael and Scotty coming off the dream team, guys tired perhaps mentally as well as physically? Well, we submitted a record for the fact that we wanted guys healthy in the playoffs, and it worked for us. And when you got Scotty and Michael and Horace and the guys that have played together as a crew, you got a great chance to win the playoffs. Those are great guys to coach, regardless of the energy level. We might have coasted a little bit this year, but we had to, and we got away with it. We came into the playoffs full, full bore, ready to go. I know talk about all-time great teams is a parlor game, but you played on one of them in the Knicks and against great teams of that era, and you coached one of them and against them, so you have a good perspective. Where does this club rank? Well, with Michael Jordan, you just step above everybody else because he's got such a will to win. He's so competitive. He helps everybody out to the nth degree. And that's what makes this team very, very special is they've got a guy, a leader that's a great competitor. They've got some great veterans like a Pax and a Bill and Horace and Scotty that fit together well. And B.J. came on this year and some guys off the bench that play their role. But he has lifted us to another level. So the Suns made you miss the Grateful Dead concert in Chicago this weekend. But in a sense, it's a Grateful Dead here. Grateful for the title and probably dead tired, huh? You bet. We've been, uh, they've been playing for 30 years. I can see them in the next 30 years, too. Congratulations, Phil. Thanks, Bob. Okay. Let's turn here to Horace Grant. Certainly offensively not a factor in the last couple of games, but the key block toward the end with Kevin Johnson on the final on the final play. And we'll try to clear the monitor here so Horace can get a look at it. And the pass out to Pax for the winner. Well, my, uh, our free throw shooting wasn't uh, going right, but there's the block right there. You know, I just wanted to uh, get a hand up, and uh, I got the ball. Did Barkley, did Barkley wear you out playing him at the defensive end? Did that hurt you offensively? I mean, uh, I'm not an offensive player now, so, but, you know, uh, Barkley, I mean, Gordon Barkley, you know, it really would wear anybody out. You know, it had a toll on me at the end. Scotty Pippen, you sliced down the lane on that last possession. It looked like the shot might have been yours. Then Horace was open, baseline, and he kicked it back out. Well, I, I felt like the horse was going to be open. I felt like his man was stepping in the lane, and I, I gave him the ball. I thought he was going to take it and finish it, but... John Paxson's right there, right open. I mean, uh, what more can you say? No one can ever be the number one guy on this team except Michael Jordan, but in two consecutive clinchers, the fourth quarter against uh, Portland in game six last year in Chicago, and here with the 23 points on the 12 boards, you have made a key contribution, and in the Knicks series, you came up big when it was needed. So, so you've established yourself at a certain level. Our main focus is to go out and play hard and play our game and uh, do what you can do on the court. Uh, Mark is going to be Michael. Mark is going to get his 40, 50 points, but the rest of us contributed. We can, we, we can, we can do what we accomplished today. And tell me the truth. Did we just win three? <laughs> you just won three. <laughs> Got to ask you one last thing. Barkley was really woofing at you. What was being said? Well, he was talking trash. Said, you guys going to be here to win. Still, you guys going to be here to win. So you want to come over for dinner. So I'm going to invite him to Chicago for dinner. <laughs> Chicago! Who you with? Who you Let's turn to Bill Cartwright. At age 35, now the third in a row, they must become more and more precious because the sand is moving through the hourglass. Oh, no question. It's just unbelievable. Uh, a lot of pressure on us to win, to get it done. They're really kind of loose. And I tell you, it's uh, just an unbelievable effort. You shot my packs to get it done. And here we are. You played countless basketball games. You can tell us the truth about this one. When they had the ball up by four in less than a minute to go, did you think you were coming back here Wednesday? Uh, there was a little doubt, but, you know, any time you have Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, and Pax was shooting the, the tar of the basketball, you got a big chance. So this was a huge game for us and, and for me, and I'm going to death. I want to say hello to my boys back home and my daughter, Kristen. And a happy Father's Day as Will Purdue does the dowsing of Bill Cartwright. And you, did, you guys had a personal duel throughout this series. Well, it was. It was a challenge. And if you want to be the best, you have to play against the best. And Kevin is a great guard. He's earned a lot of respect in this league. And, I accepted the challenge, and I'm just glad we, that we prevailed as a team. You got a chance to start this year, and even with Pax's return, you stayed in the lineup, and you've managed on a team full of stars, a team that has Michael Jordan, to establish an identity of your own. Did you doubt that you'd be able to do that in the NBA? No, I didn't. I, I never doubted that I could do it. I know it was going to be very tough. Uh, I know I had to come out and work hard and overcome a lot of challenges this year, but uh, the guys stuck with me, and that was the most important thing, and I'm just glad it all worked out for the best. BJ, congratulations. Thank you, Bob. The wrap-up here is pretty simple. The Bulls have three-peated. 
the nucleus of their club still fairly young. They still have the desire. Next year, they'll try and come back, perhaps, and become the quad squad. For Marv Albert and Mike Fratello, Quinn Buckner, Vesey, Walton, Hannah Storm, Ahmad Rashad, I'm Bob Costas. So long from Phoenix.